today on a special Faith Hunt edition of Fixing the Money Thing. Join Gary in sunny Florida for some restful fishing on the beach. Gary explains kingdom principles and how they relate to every area of life, from patience while fishing to having the knowledge and tools needed for business. There's a hit. Got one. Tom got one, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's what we're after right there, honey. Right there as a whiting. Food on the table. That's a nice big one, too. This is what we're after right here. This fish is in the cod family, and it is awesome to eat. Not huge, but that is fantastic, fantastic eating. Man, he swallowed that thing pretty deep. Hey, let's get a picture of this puppy on the TV. Sharks are a uh, controversial creature right now. Look at his head, you can see right through it. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, we've got a little sand shark here. It's interesting, sharks are all cartilage. There's no bone, no spike, or nothing on them here. It's just interesting. I'll let this little guy go. We got little teeth, not much. Interesting. Feeling, he's kind of like a rubber. Yeah. It's all rubber. It's kind of difficult to get the hook out, too. The sharks are coming in, the whiteys are coming in, the fish are coming in. That's the good sign. Fishing is a great example of being in business. You have to have the right equipment, the right location, the right timing, and most importantly, the right bait. There'd be a lot of fish out there without the right equipment. You wouldn't be able to bring them in. Or without the right bait, they would not have an interest in what you're offering. It's exactly how it is in business. You have to have the right, the right product, the right time, and the right processes to be able to capture the potential of your business. One of the key components of a business is having a great business plan. That means you take account of every expense. A lot of people forget the expenses that are minor, but over time, they add up. This little guy is not big enough to eat, but he might be big enough for my friend right behind us here. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm not sure if he can eat that thing or not. He ate it? He ate the fish. Oh, he's going to love me forever now. This guy's found a better way for business, and that is let someone else do the work. And he gets the, the reward. That's also an idea, though. A lot of fragment business, I call them fragment businesses, which means that around your business that's the primary business, there's a lot of fragments that you're not seeing. All kinds of little pieces of the same business but not your primary business. One key to the double portion is praying that God would reveal to you the pieces, the little fragments that add up to the whole part. For instance, I knew of a lady that had a, uh, a bakery. Bakery got big and she noticed that she had to have, you know, trucks shipping the buns and breads to the store, so 
she decided to capture that fragment and she started a trucking company. She realized she had to have a place to store the, the dough before it was made and she was hiring, renting out refrigeration. So instead, she built her own refrigeration unit and then she began to rent it out to other companies. By just locating fragments that maybe you're utilizing, paying someone else to do for you or pieces of your primary business that you're not quite involved with, if you'll investigate, you're gonna find a lot of fragments that you can catch for just a little bit of extra effort, a little bit of extra knowledge, you can actually participate in what I call the fragment business. In fact, I've built my whole business career focusing on the fragments and not the primary business. In my business, we look for the pieces of lost money that people don't know they really have lost. You know, for instance, I always say, you know, what about utilities? There's a lot of ways to save on utilities, taxes. There's a lot of things, cell phone bills. People are paying money for a lot of things. In our business, we help them locate, hey, here's a better, cheaper, more effective way to do the same thing you're doing. Thus, we find money. In the same way, any business is involved with multiple businesses to function and to supply their business. And if you had began to pray and let the Lord show you these other fragments without really doing a whole lot more, you can actually capture a lot of money. In fact, one of the fragments we captured years ago without trying has now become our primary, one of our primary business models. Back in the day, when someone mentioned this fragment to me, I would pay no attention. It's like, I know all about that. I have no interest in getting involved in that. One day, one of my associates, one of my guys in my company came to me and said, look, you need to take a closer look at this particular aspect that we're kind of leaving on the table. I looked at it and was kind of surprised that there was a profit in that. By changing our model, by making a point to capture that fragment, that fragment by itself, in one year brought in $14 million. It was our largest fragment that we caught uh, that year. So you have to watch out for preconceived ideas. Times are changing, they change fast. And examine all of the fragments that are attached to your business, what your vendors supply, what you need to accomplish your business, you'll find fragments. That's the tip of the day. As we saw our friend here, the bird, he was waiting for a fragment. That might just be your answer as well. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.